We are mooch docking again. Our friends Henry and Jamie let us stay in their driveway. Yeah, and we're hanging out in the Comox Valley and we're gonna show you some of the best things to do around here. The Courtney Comox area can be found about halfway up Vancouver Island on the eastern coast. Mooch docking is the best because you're right at your friend's house, but meanwhile you have your own personal condo right there within stumbling distance. Yeah, so thank you so much Jamie and Henry for hosting us, um, you're spoiling us and we just are having such a great time. We're here at the 40 Knots Winery in the Comox Valley, and our host, Jamie, friend that we're visiting, has put together this beautiful spread for us. And we're just about to taste some wine. So when doing a wine tasting, I learned from a sommelier about how to uh, sniff the wine, which I thought was pretty obvious, but not always. So you have the lightest of the reds, which is the Gamay, and the second one down is the Pinot. So I'll grab that. So first you, you sniff the wine. So you put your nose right in, even though it looks silly. Take a sniff. So you'll smell things and then you mm -hmm. swirl. Do it again. But this time when you put your nose in, you're gonna make like a cross with your nose and it's because you have a dominant nostril. So uh, you might smell things from one that you don't from the other. And also smells might get stuck in like the side of a glass, not so much these kind of small thin glasses, but if you have like a like a big red glass, it can get the smells can get stuck in the side. So yeah, and it should smell totally different than the first time you smelled it. It does. Cheers. And then you, and then you cheers. And then it mm. tastes sometimes different than it smells. Yeah. Yeah. It is hot today, but thankfully, Henry and Jamie have a pool. We're gonna go for a swim. Ah, so nice in the pool here. It's got a little bit of a farmer's tan going, kind of like a two-year farmer's tan, since I'm always wearing my rash guard when I'm not in like a regular pool. But you know, we're working on that today. It's all gonna even out. <laughs> This morning we're checking out the Nymph Falls Nature Park. It's got a decent sized parking lot, but uh, already at 10.30 on a cloudy day, it's full. So imagine you should get here early. There's a couple trails. We're gonna go check out the falls. It's a very easy flat walk, nothing too strenuous. There's an outhouse if you need it. here that you can take down to the water. The flip-flops, you know, weren't a great idea, but you know, it still worked. There's also apparently stairs, you know, if you want to take the boring route down. We're here at the Nymph Falls Potholes and Jay is gonna take a dip. It looks a little awkward to get in and apparently it's cold. How's it feel? You got your own tiny tub. Oh, it's not a hot tub. It's, it's pretty chilly. 
The rocks are really slippery, so just be careful if you're coming out here. Water shoes maybe would be good, something with some grip. Is this one cold too? This is warmer. Warmer? Yeah, Oh, okay. This is a really cool spot to check out if you're in the Courtney area. Highly recommend it, especially on a hot day. The water is nice and cool, but not too, too cool that you're like freezing your butt off. Slide attempt number one. Okay, apparently it's not working. Lift your feet up. It's not working. It looks like a slide. It looks like it would be awesome, but he's going absolutely nowhere. It's kind of funny and hilarious to watch him. All right, slide attempt number two. Here he goes from higher up. And oh, oh, we got a couple feet. We're going to try again. <laughs> The waterfalls you see behind me just over the years have like carved out these nice little potholes. There are some currents, so if you've got young ones, definitely bring some kind of life jacket with them. Anyways, check it out, it's really cool. The ultimate cool off. <laughs> what does that feel like? That looks like a lot of water. Behind me here is Kai Bay Beach. The tide is just coming in right now, but apparently when the tide is out, the sand goes way, way out. You can see there's some paddle boarders out there. The sand here is really nice and soft. Even with the tide coming in, this area here still has lots of sand. It's a Sunday afternoon and it's nice weather, but I wouldn't say it's too, too busy. You can see the tide coming in bit by bit here. It's actually quicker than you might think sometimes. That was really quick. And now my feet are all wet. Whoops. So I imagine this sandy little island is gonna be underwater pretty soon. This is as far as I go. I'm not getting in. You got a friend coming. He's coming to rescue you. Oh. <laughs> Hi, puppy. in a weird shadow. I'm in the tree shadow. Move, yeah, move that's that no way. good. There we go. <laughs> this morning we're checking out the, what are we checking out? And, oh geez, ouch. Gotta watch where I'm walking. Right here, this tiny one. Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.